thesmartlocal.com I think for me, my body clock is all over the place because our schedules are always very different. I think the last time where I actually slept every day at 10 p.m. right was probably like primary school. Even if I have nothing to do right and I have to wake up early the next day, I would tend to go on TikTok. You know, like there's this thing called uh, revenge, what? Right? Yes. Revenge, revenge. Procrastination. Ah, yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay, so I stream, right? By the time I turn off my computer, it's like 2 a.m. And you know that that sleep uh, self time thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I spent another hour plus yeah. on my phone scrolling. So by the time I sleep, it's like 3 30, 4. What does self care mean? Oh, for me, it's like me time. It gives me happiness. Or oh, I feel like when I see aeroplanes, mm. I get very emotional. Yeah. Like, I will actually like cry when I see an aeroplane. Since you fly every day, you actually <laughs> cry. Really she go on the flight, she cry. Uh, welcome to, welcome to fly. This is your seat. <laughs> To me, self-care is literally having nowhere to run to, like no commitments, like to be anywhere at any point in time. Things I do for me because I love myself. Self-care is me in the kitchen and then nobody disturb me and the door closed. I listen to the chopping of my butt. Like, oh, Ooh, like ASMR. ASMR. <gasps> <gasps> do you take some time off to do self-care every day? Oh, every day, yeah. Mm. No, definitely, no. definitely no. I really admire people who can actually allocate time mm. to do self-care. Okay. As we grow older, right, we have a lot of responsibilities, commitments. You know that triangle? Work, social life, and self. You can never choose all three, right? Mm. So self-care and putting time for ourselves kind of just take a step back. And it's more of like, okay, I'm gonna have the time, then yeah. I'll do it. It's very hard to find time to create a routine because of a schedule that is not 9 to 5. So I try really hard to at least do it once a week. So in this episode of Singaporeans Try, you guys will be attempting to wake up at 6 a.m. for a week mm -hmm. and do a form of self-care each day. Oh, so mm. sweet. I'm really not feeling the 6 a.m. <laughs> vibes. I'm so sorry. I can stay up until 6 a.m. But that's not the point, <laughs> please! <laughs> Check. It is six or seven now. Morning. It is six fourteen. Morning, guys. It is six a.m. Why? Ah. Good morning, you guys. So it's about six o'clock, and um, my sister's getting ready for school, and I'm gonna go send her for school. And once that is done. I'm gonna go take a walk. First order of the day is to make the bed. This is what successful people do, they make the beds. Done. <laughs> Time to go for a run. I just finished my morning run. Look at this morning view. You can still see I like the mist. I'm actually really happy that this is how I kickstart my 6am challenge because it is so amazing. I'm okay, slightly more awake now, so it's time to feed the gatos. Make sure you see it's yours. Tuki. First part of the routine done, wash face, go and run. Part 2 of self care, I usually run around my house area la, so there's like a huge loop thing. So, it's run time. I'm gonna watch my favorite streamer. His name is Shazam. He's a competitive Valorant player. Okay, usually he streams really early for my time. So by the time I wake up, he's already been streaming for like four or five hours. I'm gonna turn on his stream and I'm gonna journal because I have not done this in a long ass time. I try to start like the right in it every day at the start of the year, but I think once it got to like June, I gave up. So let's let's do something now. Okay, I'll, I'll play music. Oh my god, literally sun coming up right now, okay? And look at the, look at the, the sunlight on my kettle. Look at her, look at her. Wow, she's sleeping. Oh, this 
this is so wholesome. I can't. What is this video? It's making me feel wholesome things. Oh my god, y'all. I found a very high rise building. I was staring into the vast, like, nothingness. I saw an aeroplane flying at, like, a low altitude. And it makes me so happy. Oh my god, it's an aeroplane. Oh my god. Okay, so guys, I'm planning to buy some stuff online. Instead of just doing nothing, maybe to fill up that time with something interesting so you guys can watch. I love you. I love you. I love you. So I'm currently on the website right now, sorry for the distraction but the good thing about it is that they have a variety of different like sections over here so I'm just gonna click through a few. <laughs> I found this and I think I have to buy some of these things because um, my room is a mess as most of the YouTube team already knows. I just got home from a full day of work. I also intend to order some stuff online from Amazon. I've already sourced out for the items that I need. Okay, so these are the items that I have on my cart. This is the two things that I'm going to order to help me like fall asleep because I, will, I foresee myself having trouble falling asleep. So this is the cute tea infuser that I saw as a little submarine and look at this free delivery right and it will arrive within literally like four days or tomorrow I think I'm going to opt for that because they do have like uh, Amazon Prime right over here let me try Prime <laughs> the plans for today there's a nearby cafe that opened um, and I think I'm going to go there and grab coffee that's part of my self-care, right? I, I like to dress up and to wear nice things uh, when I head out. This guy is so nice. I have genuinely never done this before, aka leave my house to get coffee before work. Alright, day two, I'm up and I just fed the babies they are over here. Today's self-care is just gonna be me having a good cup of coffee that I haven't had in a very 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 long time. I've got my own bacha here and my cute little goose snack. You know there's like something super meditative about just waiting for the coffee to drip while maintaining the flow of the water as the world is starting to wake up right. It's about taking things slow first and then slowly but surely like you'll be reaching that peak that you'll be working towards lah. Good morning, so it's 6.30 a.m. in the morning. I just sent my sister off to school. I told myself I will do a run and then I'm gonna go grab coffee later on. Okay. Ice latte to start off the day. It's my happy thing. Day two, meditating at 6.15 in the morning. I'm gonna put a pillow here myself comfortable, grab onto my crystal. More powerful than any man-made medication available. On your healing journey, even after this practice has concluded. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Good morning. So we're going to send her off to school. Okay. Bye, have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Good morning. So I just sent my sister off to school and today's the third day of me waking up at six, right? It has gotten progressively easier. I have felt that, okay, you know what? I should just relax and reward myself. I'm going to be trying this out today. I can already feel that it's heating up. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. So I just, just put it here. All right, it is done. Wow, that was an experience. I honestly really am so happy that I got this. And it's not like hot, hot. It is just like warm. So one of the things that I've always wanted to do for myself is I need to clean my room. So I'm going to take the time this morning to go and pack. The plan is that I am going to bring all the hangers here and y'all are going to watch me fold clothes. Oh, the dust. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I feel the sneezing. I feel it. <laughs> I feel it coming. <coughs> oh. I feel it coming. 
Let me show you the progress, okay? So, I have two big bags of clothes here that I am going to sell. The other things behind me. <laughs> and this is not even clearing my entire room yet. This is clearing like maybe half of the, the shit that I have. This has been the most progress I've ever made in 2021. And I feel good about it. So I really wanted to show you guys like a part of my self-care routine, right? I was actually coming to the airport to see aeroplanes and they just gave me a form of like happiness to see all these things I know it's so dramatic but let me show you guys So usually the planes are all parked over here you can see a lot of like planes here You can see like the planes like moving up and down people loading up the, the planes which is quite entertaining to watch it is 6 o'clock ish for day 3 and while I'm waiting for my rice right to be ready I'm gonna stir fry up some mixed vegetables and I'll just see what else is there in my fridge to make the perfect bento today. There we go, that's my tamagoyaki. Okay, I'm done with all the cooking and this is how the bento looks like. Ta-da! Hello guys, for today's self-care routine, I'm going to be making keychains. I thought it would be quite therapeutic to do like beading or like jewelry making. Counting stars, you know that song guys? Shut up, Neil. I swear I'm not going to finish this. SD, can you cry? Ah! SD, can you cry? Ah! I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Should I get one side? Is that how it works? I did it! Ta -da! This is actually quite fast to do, it's just that I'm quite a noob. Good job, Malia! One down and maybe ten more to go. In the bedroom now, and I just have to call them and they'll be here. Oshi! How's your brother? Ziki! Oshi, come! So that's literally a teaser of what I what I do with them every other day. Uh. Okay, so I just got out of the shower, I just did my hair. Moving on to my skincare, right? Um I'm not very particular about how I do my skincare. Yeah, I realized that I need to really put in effort and care for my skin. This is the Gua board that I'm using for my face. And this is the old one that I used to have. So this has like been in my family for like years since I was a kid, I've seen this. So I don't know if I'm doing it right. Like doing this once in a while is good or like every day because it helps like the blood circulation in the face. Okay, so that's pretty much done for my skincare routine and I feel very like awake and fresh and nice and I'm ready to conquer my day. So today is gonna be painting. I'm ready to start my process. Okay, I am done with my painting. It looks like this and I really, really, really love how it turned out. This feels very apt because it is like sunrise. It is like waking up at 6am and this is how it feels like. Woo! It's the last day of the challenge for today. I think a slow and relaxing day to end off the entire challenge feels good lah. It's another day. I'm whispering because everybody is asleep at home. I want to do like a little bit of a reflection time. My head's been a bit messy the past few days despite like doing this challenge. And because I'm on annual leave for the past like two weeks, I haven't been flying. And I think it has affected my mood, has affected my mental health a lot. My dad used to buy this for me when I was a kid. Let's see if I managed to build it. Ah, hands are fine. You don't need tools. <laughs> the plan is that I'm going to go walk. I thought 
why not like pack something to eat as well? So I wanted to make tuna mayo onigiri, uh, but I didn't have like the kewpie mayo and I didn't have tuna. Wow. I went on to Amazon uh, like yesterday or something and then I ordered it off Amazon Fresh. Ta-da! Now I have the kitty mayo and the tuna. It's so fast, it delivers in one day, oh my god. The good thing about it is that they have a lot of variety of products on their website. So it was really not that hard to find this. I have a strong feeling it's not going to squish properly, but... Uh... <coughs> okay, you know what? We, we go with it, okay? Insert lo-fi music here. And the gear is a cheeky. Oh, oh, whoa, calm down. I'm feeling super lethargic already but I think it's because in the morning itself I actually went for pilates that took out a lot of my energy so I'm just gonna get myself coffee it's a final day tomorrow I can wake up late again <laughs> so how was the challenge? Honestly, I found it okay la. It's not the worst thing to go through. Like. Getting up at 6 o'clock in the first like two days was a bit tough for me. But after that, somehow it started getting better. Like, I didn't feel as tired as compared to the first day. So I thought I was gonna be like the only one running at the park. But I got so many auntie, uncle, then I'm yeah. just like, wow! Well, good morning, everybody! Good morning. Oh, that's right! Oh, that's right! Yeah. I guess the most enjoyable thing is like something very basic for me, which is like the weather is cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the. It's like very simple, kind of enjoyable moments. Is there anything you've learned about yourselves? The day I enjoyed the most is the day that I did it on a public holiday. Normally, on public holidays, I take it as a time to just sleep in, mm. I don't wake up so early which is okay but I think on time to time what I can do is like some weekends I can schedule things that are in the morning on days where you don't have work I think when I have work it's a bit difficult, difficult. Yeah. Don't, don't make some care like a part of the to-do list lah right yeah. it's not yeah. you're pressured to like do it and then it won't be fun anymore like, it'll just mm. be, yeah it will lose its meaning lah but I don't think my definition of self-care has changed mm. I think mm. it has just amplified do you continue this routine? Uh, no, not every day. No. I don't think every day. <laughs> I don't mind waking up at 6 to send my sister to school because I love to like spend time with her. But I don't think I can stay awake after that. I'll just go back to sleep. Then wake up again and then like spend time with myself. I think for me, there's a high chance it might. Eh. Because right, I'm always late. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this, had, yeah, this whole week, I early, you know. You just cat. Yeah. You're okay. La. <laughs> I just say, yeah, sorry guys, I'm late lah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Amazon Singapore for making this video possible. Head on down to the links in the description box below to snag some early holiday deals on Amazon. You can expect to see even more with Black Friday coming up. And as always, thank you so much for watching this episode of Singapore and Stripe. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell and watch our other videos over there. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs> she haven't wake up yet. She like, bye. I'm dead. Okay.